Howdy, my name is Mike Siegel. I'm your Democratic nominee for Congress in the Texas 10th Congressional District. Hope you're doing well today. I want to talk to you about the issue of water as it confronts my campaign. Um, some of you around here know that my opponent, Michael McCall, was in the news this weekend because he is the biggest water user in the city of Austin area. He used over 1.4 million gallons in one year, which is over 20 times what a regular person uses. And actually, he probably used more than that, but he decided to keep his water usage secret. So all we know, he is first, and it's more than 1.4 million. Which, you know, if you take his explanation that he had leaky pipes, uh, maybe that would be a decent explanation, because um, we know that he's got a large home. This is uh, the fine McCall residence. And, you know, if, if you have such a large home and you had some leaky pipes, maybe you would leak a lot of water. But the problem is that he also had leaky pipes in 2016, in 2011, when he was also the biggest water user. So I think the real explanation for this waste is that he really doesn't care. He doesn't care that he's a water hog. He doesn't care that he's using so much water that the rest of us actually have access to less. We might have to pay more for our water because he's using up so much. And there are people without clean drinking water around here and across the country. There are farmers that don't have enough water to grow crops. And meanwhile, these folks, um, they're using a lot more than regular folks. Here's, you know, essentially the average homeowner uses about 70,000 gallons a year. This is what 1.4 million looks like uh, in contrast. And, you know, one person's water usage is not a congressional campaign issue, but resource hogging, to me, that is an issue. And as our quote unquote representative, McCall should be setting uh, a good example for how our country should make sure everybody has fair access to resources, has a fair shot to succeed in this country. And I want to con contrast this water issue with the tax cut issue. Some of you remember um, the Republicans, after they passed, they passed that horrible tax cut, which took $1.5 trillion out of our government and gave most of it to the richest Americans. Um, they bragged about how one woman, oh, she's going to get $2 extra in every paycheck, so she'll be able to buy uh, a free Costco membership for the year. Or that Chipotle workers, fast food workers, might get $5 extra in every paycheck, adding up to about $250 in the course of the year. Which, of course, $250 is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, but if you have to pay more for health care, it's not worth as much. If you have to pay more for retirement, it's not worth as much. And if you contrast it with other folks, Scott, with what other folks got, like McCall, then really it shows that we not only have an issue of water hogging, but we have an issue of resource hogging. And I want to give you a little visual of McCall's tax cut benefit compared to the rest of us. And actually, my computer program isn't even good enough to show the differential. This is what the McCall's got. They got about $40 million in tax cuts in the last uh, tax bill. That's because you take away the estate tax and they have hundreds of millions of dollars. They literally get tens of millions of dollars with one vote by Mr. McCall. Meanwhile, the rest of us, let's say we get $250, that's nothing in comparison. And meanwhile, the next budget bill, the Republicans want to cut Social Security, they want to cut health care. And really, you start to see that this water hogging is just the tip of the iceberg of a resource hogging issue, where some of these folks think that they have no obligation to make sure that the rest of us have the basics of life. They don't care if we have housing. They don't care if we have health care. They don't care if we have good public schools. And that's a huge problem. That's contrary to the promise of democracy in this country. It's contrary to the role of government to make sure that everyone has the basics so that we all have a fair shot to succeed. So I want to let you know that I'm running for Congress so that we do have a fair shot. I'm not going to regulate Mr. McCall's personal water usage, but I do want to regulate how our resources are distributed as a country. We have enough in this country to make sure everyone has health care, whether we call that universal health care or Medicare for all. Everyone should be able to go to the doctor and get assistance if they need it. We should all have housing. We should all have access to higher education. We should have access to preschool and quality public schools, child care, paid sick leave. I mean, there are just basics in life that there's enough in this country, we should all have access to it. And if you vote for me, and when you elect me in November, you're going to have an advocate for a fair society, a, a democracy that has a real safety net, that uh, acts with common decency towards all of its citizens. Um, I want to be a representative for everyone. I'm going to make sure that those folks at the top that are taking too much are going to pay their fair share. I'm Mike Siegel. I'm your future congressman for Texas 10. Thanks so much for being with me.